right, Glad Rap Channel here with Robert the Butcher Barrage. Welcome back. Um, first round KO of Borden, uh, Thailand fighter. How did it feel, man? Yeah, it felt good to be throwing punches again and moving around the ring. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed that I that I let that hand go because I wanted to get some more rounds in, you know, like wanted to use the footwork that I've been practicing and training with, but I just let the hand go and it connected, so that was that. Um, anyway, I just want to say welcome back. You know, you've had a short-lived um, self-imposed retirement back in June last year. Uh, did it feel like the right time to get back in the ring? Do you feel like you have some unfinished business? Yeah, definitely. You know, like, I do miss it, and I enjoy the training and the fighting aspect of it, obviously. So, um, no, nah, it's good to get back in there and just do my thing, you know. You know, boxing has been a big chapter of your life. You know, you started it at 20, just trying to get fit, you know, for rugby. And now, look at you, you know. But, you know, in saying that, it's a tough game, you know. It's a grind, it's a grind day in, day out. What fuels your passion for, the, you know, for boxing? Yeah, probably the training aspect of it, you know. You train all the time, so you may as well have a goal to train for. And it just so happened I fell into boxing, so I may as well keep going with that, you know. So, yeah. But do you still have a love for it? Do you still have a burning, you know, desire to, to be in there? Yeah, definitely, you know. Like, I really enjoyed walking out in front of my friends and family and hearing the cheers and stuff like yeah it was nice you know and I did enjoy it enjoyed that that fighting part of it you know having punches thrown at me and trying to evade them so yeah it was good and um, can you also talk about you know the people in your life just talk to me about the other people in your life you know Vasco your manager Paul Barrage all these people that have sort of helped you out you know what what, what, are the, what does it mean to you and how have they motivated you you know yeah well uh, my partner Myra, she's a PT, and so we got into training together. And then I found the fire to get back into cardio because I stacked on a few pounds when I retired. Um, so yeah, I started training again. And then Paul was like, you know, why not have another fight? And then Vasco and Cleve, we all just jumped in back in together and just fell into place really. So it felt like we haven't really been apart from each other or anything like that. So no, it was good. It was a good feeling to be back in the chain sheds and you know, talking shit and having a laugh and then doing what we do as a team. And um, have you sort of like set yourself like a deadline, you know, to make it back on, on the world stage? Like, have you set a target? No, nah, there's no deadlines, just to get in and um, showcase what I've learned on my time off. Um, try and put that together. So I know I always have the power, but I need to put the footwork and the speed of my punches together as well. So yeah, we'll give it a go. You know, you've, you've accomplished a lot in boxing. You know, you held uh, regional titles. WBA, WBC, WBO, IBO, you've also reached 22 in, in the rankings. Do you still want to get back there? Do you want to get back to the top? Yeah, I'd love to get back in top 10 in the rankings. You know, I've been there before, ninth in the WBO, four for two world titles, you know. So, yeah, I'd love to get back up in there. I'm a pretty solid opponent, so I'm keen as to fight. You know, Parker, he's fighting Flores uh, tomorrow. But, you know, he's also, same like you, sort of, he's had two back-to-back -back losses. He's gone overseas. What sort of advice, like, do you think he's doing the right thing by fighting Flores? Or do you, I mean, what, do you have any advice for a fighter like that that's sort of been there? Well, yeah, obviously, he needs to put on a good show. And, I mean, the type of fighter that he's got, I guess he can do that with. So, yeah, all the best to Joe tomorrow night. And um, I hope he comes away with the KO. Now, uh, don't get too mad at me, but, you know, there's, there's a couple fighters on that undercard that have sort of called you out. Are you sort of interested in, in fighting, like, the local, national fighters or uh, do you sort of want to go overseas and, and sort of make a name for yourself globally or would you be interested in, in, in some of the fights? I'd love to know who those light heavyweights are because um, everyone said no to me. Okay well what about a cruiser? I mean uh, is that no? I think a cruiser. No. What happened? So you know we've been seeing you bulk up a little bit in, in training. Were you trying to make, were you trying to gain higher like go in the higher weight class? No uh, because I retired so I wanted to go hit some weights and just eat what I wanted because I've been dieting for so many years now and then yeah just got strong got big and um, when I decided to fight I come back I was going to have a just a comeback fight at cruiserweight but I was always going to drop back down to light heavy so if there's any New Zealand light heavyweights out there I'll take their titles off them I know it's, it's great to see the fight you know you look good at the heavyweight you know did you ever think that you could fight at that weight as well or did you want to give it a go maybe no nah, no nah, I just wanted to have a a fight while I was doing my weight, my weight cut, get back in the ring, and then yeah, make a serious go at like heavyweight again. Um, you know, so you've also recovered from a hand injury, I think. Um, are you? How are you feeling now? Is the body good? The body's in good shape. Yeah, the body's good. Body's feeling good, so 
just keep sl slaving away, you know, training day in, day out, and just get the fights when we can. No, it's good to see you, man. I think we really missed you, you know, we, we missed that aggressive style of yours. And, and today, I think you made a statement today, you know? So what's the plan for now? How are you going to enjoy Christmas? Are you going away for a holiday or...? Yeah, we're just going to, you know, hang out with family and, yeah, go from there. And 2019, what's your plans? Oh, just have to wait and see. Well, welcome back, man. Honestly, it's, it's, it's good to see you back and uh, hope you have a successful 2019. Yes, welcome back. Thank you very much. No, it's my pleasure. Thank you.